think my favorite Christmas memory is making Christmas cookies. And I used to um, make Christmas cookies with my grandmother uh, when I was really young. And um, my grandmother and hit, my dad's grandmother taught my dad how to, to bake and cook. So like a little older, I remember it was always a big deal to make Christmas cookies with my dad and, and my parents and my younger brother. And um, I've kind of continued that tradition uh, with my kids where every year we have one day where it's Christmas cookie day and we make like hundreds and hundreds of Christmas cookies until we start baking I, I don't really feel like it's Christmas. After we open our stockings in the morning uh, before we can get to the presents we always do Christmas breakfast which no one has a problem with because my mom always makes these homemade cinnamon rolls and we end up having these like really like super sugary homemade cinnamon rolls with like piles of bacon. It is like the worst, it is like the worst breakfast you could ever have, but it is so good. My favorite Christmas movie is A Christmas Story, mainly because when I was a kid, it was always on TV. What I like about the movie is it's just funny. It's just a really funny movie about this kid and his Christmas story with his family. And there's something very um, realistic about that movie. It just makes me feel like, um, you know, all, all families are a little bit, you know, messed up in some way. And I feel like we can all relate to that and maybe not feel as bad about some of the shortcomings we have when we get together for the holidays. The Nightmare Before Christmas. The atmosphere it creates is, is very conducive to the holiday. The animation is so beautiful. The snow and the dark colors for Halloween Town and the bright colors for Christmas Town. Um, but at its core, it, it's not strictly a holiday movie because it's about knowing who you are and knowing who your true friends are and being okay with trying new things and changing your mind. You know, Jack explores and he learns things about himself and he learns what he really does love and then he's okay with that at the end. And he's able to share that, like he finds out what other people are good at and lets them have their thing and he has his thing. And also just the music is the greatest music ever. One of my favorite movies is The Polar Express. My girls and I love to watch that movie and it's just a fun movie to watch. But you know, to me, there's something much deeper about that movie. I know it's got Santa and all that stuff in it, but more than that, it actually talks about believing. We can fight all these battles about what, when Christmas really was or, or how we should celebrate or if we should even celebrate. But to me, there's, there's something deeper about it and it's the sense that Christ draws us all together. The birth of Christ is the reason that we, we are who we are in Jesus, that we are who we are as a church. And I hope that people will remember that the passion of Christmas is about believing that there was a baby born 2,000 years ago who changed everything. Uh, well, when you ask me what Christmas means to me, uh, first of all, I think about the fact that there are a lot of people who don't celebrate any kind of holidays, birthdays, Christmas, or anything. And you know, I respect that, understand um, some of the reasoning, but I think it's, it's something of a freedom for Christians to celebrate Christmas, even though we know that it's not the actual date of Christ's birth. Um, that's pretty obvious from church history and we kind of know that what we're talking about here is just a day where we commemorate um, the fact that Christ did come and, and that we can celebrate this with people who are you know, a part of our culture, our family, extended family, whether they're Christians or not, because this is just something of God's common grace that he allows us times to be together as family, to think about something that's a true fact from history that God came in the flesh to be the Savior. Um, and so that's really what Christmas means to me. Once when it was my wife and, and my year to go back to Tucson and visit my family, my, my mom and dad and sister, uh, we decided to instead go up to Pine Top, Arizona, which is up in the mountains. And, uh, and we did the whole thing. We, we got the cabin, it, it did snow. Uh, and um, you know we just had a really great family time together. What ended up being the most special thing was that we didn't know at the time that was my dad's last Christmas. And so to have done that, the timing of it, and then the next year we, we didn't have him anymore, uh, just makes it all the more special to look back on. You never know, um, you know, who's, who's you know, Christmas is, this is gonna be the last one. So that's kind of started a philosophy in our family to just go all out every year, you know, go get that cabin go go tell that person how special they are to you go go make up with that long lost friend and just and just really make it a special time so what christmas means to me or what 
I want it to mean because I think that often it's not this, but my ambition is for it to just really be a time of reflection. We celebrate Advent and that's all about looking back and remembering how much the Jews longed for a king and a savior and that anticipation around this coming um, chosen one. And um, we live in this already but not yet time where Christ has come but he promises to come back. And if I can get my heart into a place at this time of year where I am anticipating um, Christ's second coming as much as I'm excited and joyous about celebrating his first coming, then I feel like I've really got the meaning of Christmas. Of course, that's not always what it is in my heart, but that's what I want Christmas to be.